I'm just going to go through this and then I'm just going to sit down and we could just chat because that will be a nice way to end. And I'll give you some stuff if you want it. But basically, you know, since I'm sitting up here saying private companies are bad, this is what they're doing, I wanted to share with you what some of our recommendations were to make it better. Because obviously it's not a black and white issue and it's not an easy fix. Oh, well, let's just give them back to the municipalities and then the cities are like, oh, we can't afford to do anything here. Um, but here are just a couple of things that we're going to be pushing in the next year or so to change that hopefully, you know, we'll get some energy behind this and um, have some more strategies for how to make these things happen. But it's going to have to come from the people who are being affected. Um, one is encouraging systems that aren't privately owned yet, if they're thinking about changing, to hook up to a municipal system. Um, because that just brings more customers in, which means you know they can get a little bit more money. It's also you know going to be better in a lot of cases for the people living there. And this would actually be a policy, like, instead of approving, like, oh, you want to, Aqua wants to buy this? Okay, check, you know, that the regulators would actually say, no, there's a municipal system right over there, so you cannot buy this. Because mm. once they buy it, and Aqua is terrible about this, they're very intimidating. They walk around in these suits, you know, and they say, like, you better not try to take away our systems that we own or else. And they're part of a, a national company, so they have a lot of money that they can throw into slap suits or whatever they want. So this is more of a prevent it from happening in the first place. Um, and then with the rates, and I didn't talk about this a lot because it's not economics is not my area of real expertise, but really, you know, the concern is really for the lower income people. I think with this and finding a way to have some sort of rate like a increasing block, you know, where if you use more than this amount, then you pay a higher rate for that, kind of like a tax block structure, because A, that encourages people to conserve and like you said, not waste a lot of water and use it for whatever they want. But then B, if people really aren't using as much, or you know, there's fewer people in the house, or they just are trying to conserve because they can't afford more, that they would have an incentive to do that and that they wouldn't be paying as much as somebody who has a huge mansion and lots of people. Um, there's also been some issues with the private companies with just like weird bills where you're not sure what it is and not being even notified that the private company was coming in. So we're really pushing for more, some sort of rules in place that would help that happen. And, and again, it, it really impacts people who are in lower income or, you know, in apartments or public housing or mobile home parks where a lot of times they don't even get a notification on their door. It's like maybe posted in one place in the complex and then people don't see it. So I think that if people just knew about more of what was going on and how to get involved, that we'd see even more pushback. Um, and some sort of enhanced funding mechanism for the public governments to improve their infrastructure. And this is a, something that this guy, who's a former uh, CPA, who's in, living in one of these neighborhoods, and you know he's not like hurting for money, but he's really like, this is wrong, you know. And he's like going through the numbers in a way that I wouldn't know how to do, but. So pushing for in Florida has this a price index where there's lots of private water companies in the state. Why don't we just like put them all together and see what some of the averages are and then not allow these like crazy outliers like Aqua to charge way more than what other people are getting by on and they've got to do the same kinds of improvements. So he's talking about like a per customer, what does it cost the company and then what do they charge and then decisions would be more based on that. Okay. And then just more opportunities for public participation for, you know, and, and not necessarily just attending the hearings 
like having more hearings, but that, you know, sometimes they're like at noon on a Tuesday when working people can't get out. So shifting that so that really the public voice is being heard. And those are some of them, but there certainly could be many more.